Welcome to Mary is in NewEvangelization.com and today all eyes on her. Okay. All eyes on her. Okay. <clears throat> Now, don't go away. It's just beginning. We are going to talk about Ajit Kaur's uh, album called At the Temple Door. And uh, I'm going to do a review on the CD, <clears throat> At the Temple Door. And uh, the uh, first thing I'd like to say is... It's life-changing music and singing and prayer. It's life-changing. It, it is incredibly healing. It is incredibly pure and fun. I mean, seriously. It's, made, it's a game-changer, guys. Uh, all right, so the first song is... Uh, uh, I'm going to give my English translation here. Uh, Ang Namo. The second song is Breath of Life. Now, I understand what Breath of Life means. The Ang nam Namo. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Breath of Life. Um, mm, breath of Life. I mean, <clears throat> the Breath of Life. She's singing about the Breath of of life. So that breathe the breath of life, the, the air that keeps us alive, the breath of life uh, in bloom. In bloom. In bloom. Who's in bloom? Mary's in bloom. She's singing about Mary. Mary is in bloom. This is the time of Mary, and Ajit is singing about it. Uh, Ajay Ajay, uh, just a fun song, right? <clears throat> um, then, Peace. You have to check this Peace song out. Uh, you have to check Peace out, because the best Peace song ever Serious, I wish you actually, I wish she would have continued that song uh, longer, to be honest with you. But it goes into this Ekankar, uh, which is like a chant to God, which is equally as impressive. <clears throat> Very impressive. I would say um, that's my favorite on, on the CD. But getting back to Breath of Light. You know what's beautiful about Breath of Life is she's talking about her teacher. She's established a relationship with her teacher. Uh, and they talk about the divine teacher within everybody so that we look to each other as children of God that is worthy of God and can, can speak about God. So... Uh, at the temple door, this, this is the one. At the temple door, this is the one. Um, at the temple door. This is significant. And I'm going to tell you why it's significant. Okay? Now, I don't even know if Ajit knows why this is significant. That her, that her album is called At the Temple Door. Okay. Who was left at the temple door when they were three years old, according to the Proto-Evangelium of James? Who was left at the temple door? My, 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 how soon we forget, okay? Her. She was left at the temple door. 
All right. <clears throat> so Our Lady of Guadalupe is in the Española <clears throat> Gudara Chapel. I call it a chapel, prayer chapel. Our Lady of Guadalupe is down there, okay? Um, that's pretty significant. So Ajit has, she's got it. Ajit has got it significantly at the temple door. What a reference. What a reference to Mary. Okay. <clears throat> and how does that tie into Ajit? <clears throat> this connection here between Mary and Ajit is it's definitely interesting you know so I will pray for Ajit I will pray for her because that she, Ajit is what America needs I mean I'm serious Ajit is what America needs and she's so beautiful and she's so pro-life like everything about her is life in bloom so and, and the way she dresses is so important because um, our unfortunately you know so many of our women they just don't dress beautifully you know they don't so Ajit is an example she's an example for all women and especially our young women you can be beautiful you can be talented you can be fun you can be spiritual I mean you can be these things you know that and, and Ajit is she is living those things by the grace of God she can do it by the grace of God. So I would recommend the CD for sure to anybody and everybody. And good luck for the Grammy. I'm all for it. Like now, the uh, new age <clears throat> genre that's going to scare people, you know, because they don't they don't know what it is. You know, so that's a little bit, I see that as a little bit of a problem. I'll be honest with you. Because new age could be anything and everything. Uh, and then you, you say, okay, contemporary Christian. Um, I would seriously much rather see you in the uh, contemporary Christian circles. I definitely, definitely, like you would just blow everybody out of the water, okay? Um, you know, that's my suggestion. Um, and I, you know, nothing, I mean, I've heard new age music, you know, there's spiritual music within new age music. Let's put it that way. There's St. Hildegard and, um, you know, many spiritual Catholics, uh, Protestants, different religions, whatever. It, it's sort of, you know, I mean, it's a broad category. It's an interesting category to think about. Um, as long as it's done respectfully, you know, that's the thing. It's got to be done with religious freedom in mind. Religious freedom ultimately says that I can be Catholic anywhere in this country, okay? That's religious freedom. So let's continue to pray on this, whoa, heavy, heavy, um, God vibration that hopefully everyone is connected to. If you're not, um, you know, there's only a sure way. Watch Ajit, okay, her, her 40 day, and then keep your eyes right here.